What's up, Time Keepers? Me, Time Gamer here, bringing another part of Max Payne. So, if you're ready, I'm ready. Time to roll the intro. All right, guys, we're going to be jumping right back into Max Payne. Hopefully, uh, you guys are going well. We're going to be starting right back behind the stage. So, let's see where we're going here. Hopefully, we won't get killed. Uh, if you remember last video, some guy just fell down to his death here, right there. So, yeah, we're going to keep going here. Thank you for your Ingram bullets. Ingram, 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 Ingram. I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm not 100 sure on that one. It's a long way to the top when you want to rock and roll, baby. What the fuck? Guess I'm gonna have to bullet time this shit. No! All right, let's try this again. No. Oh, nice slide, Max. I thought I was going to make it there for two seconds. Jesus. All right, let's save here because some shit's going to go down. That's for sure. There you go. Let's go, Max. Let's kill people. Chapter 9, An Empire of Evil. The backstage area led to Lupino's inner sanctum. Oh boy. The hot air inside was like an invisible wall, thick with incense and something else. A sickly sweet smell that made you gag. This was the rotten core of the Big Apple. Lupino lurked somewhere ahead, like a spider at the center of his web, waiting. The vapors in the air started to make my head swim. Torn pieces of a letter lay scattered on the sofa. Over here. Punchinello had threatened Lupino in writing. The note had been torn to pieces, bloody fingerprints all over them. Don't want you to think that one of my boys is not playing with a full deck. Shape up, Jack. We are running a business here. I'd hate to send the trio to strong arm you. The trio were the Don's notorious henchmen. It was obvious that Lupino hadn't been intimidated by the threat. <laughs> Lupino's notes covered the table. All right. Jack Lupino was crazy, all right. The table was scattered with notes of demented arcane nonsense written in rusty blood. A mishmash list of demons, devils, and dark gods evoked. Beelzebub! Asmodeus! Baphomet! Lucifer! Loki! Chitulu! Lilith! Hela! Blood given to you all. All right. It was after that old Faustian deal. Your soul for power and fortune. Just sign on the dotted line with your blood. Makes sense. Lupino's notebook lay on the pedestal. Jack Lupino was crazy, all right. Mythic wolves let loose to devour the sun and the moon. Lupino is the wolf. I'm Mr. Beast, the big bad Fenris wolf. I'm the end of the world man, wearing the flesh of fallen angels. Oh, gold. After Y2K, the end of the world had become a cliché. But who was I to talk? A brooding underdog Avenger alone against an empire of evil, out to right a grave injustice. Yep. Everything was subjective. Mm -hmm. There were only personal apocalypses. Nothing is a cliché when it's happening to you. All right, let's keep going. The flesh of fallen angels! Come to me all! Astaroth, Beelzebub, Asmodeus, Baphomet, Lucifer, Loki, Satan, Chitulu, Lilith, Ella! Blood to you all! <laughs> Secret <laughs> living under the skin of reality. I've seen it. The corruption of flesh. <laughs> Uh oh. It's close. It's coming. You have come. A witness to the end of time. It's now. I will rise to her side. 
I don't say the words! I pay on the words! Some demon ass bullshit going on here. Fuck all these motherfuckers come out of. Not today. Not go crazy here guys i'm just one man trying to find a fucking reason here save here okay oh my god come on now where the fuck is you shooting me from Try it from the safe spot again. Did I get him? God damn it. Holy mother of God. All right, all right, all right. I had known there'd have to be a catch in it somewhere, and this one was the Empire State Building of catches. Levino just pumped up and dying to go 15 rounds with a mutant alligator. And then he started this spooky monkey talk, straight from a bad dream. Mine. I have tasted the flesh of fallen angels. Was that I've supposed to be? I've tasted the devil's green blood. It runs in my veins. I've seen beyond a world of skin. The architecture of blood and bow and arrow. Death! is coming she is coming and hell follows with her all right this is the twilight winter i am ready to be her son her time is now and all who stand in her way must die <laughs> <laughs> You'll die! You'll <laughs> die! Now! All die! Oh! Holy moly!
Uh. Oh, he's a feisty fella. Oh, I got him. Jesus Christ. Oh, I thought he killed me there for two seconds. When the Pino finally went down, I wanted to make real sure he'd stay that way. <laughs> he was a bad monster. Turned them into friggin' zombie demons from outer space. I think he's dead already. Huh? And that's when it happened. But dead or not, you've got the wrong guy. In stepped this knockout femme fatale holding a gun to my face. I returned the favor. Please don't kill. Part two, a cold day in hell. God damn it. Lisa Punchinello. Lisa Punchinello was the Don's wife. Mona Sachs. Lisa's evil twin. Your safety's off, evil twin. You might hurt someone with that gun of yours. Lisa's the damsel in distress. I'm the professional. I'd blow you away without batting an eye. Sure. And you can check out my credentials splattered all over this joint. Jack couldn't have framed you. Not the state he was in. We're after the same slime bag. Angelo Quincinello's the one who murdered your friend and framed you with it. You know this for a fact. I've got my sources. All right. I have a clue these days. I just shoot them as they come. Who put a contract on the Archfiend? This one's mine. I hate the guts of that sadistic wife beater. Why not pool our bullets for this one? I thought you'd never ask. My finger <laughs> was starting to twitch. How do you like your whiskey? All right. I'm easy. As long as you don't try to slip me a Mickey. You're a real angel, Max. It was good stuff. Tasted sweet as honey going down. Nothing personal. Can't risk you going berserk and getting Lisa killed. God damn it. The nightmare was always the same. Violent shapes moving in darkness, old and ugly. The killer's mad laughter was a riddle filled with wicked innuendo. Oh dear Somewhere, God. The baby was crying. All right. What do I have to do now? Hello? Fuck, that was creepy for two seconds. The ever elongating hallways. Whoa. I'm weightless. Max, no, please, Max. Why? I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Follow the voices. That's what it is. God damn it. This is one hell of a drug trip. Okay. Where the hell am I going? Oh, I'm here. Should have known it when we found you snoring next to Lapino's corpse. A comedian, huh? Oh great, I'm high and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get tortured to fucking bits. Yes, great. Wait, is this my house? The pictures were filled with good old times. Oh yeah, it is my house. Alrighty then. Oh great. That is not a pleasant sound. The watch cartoons. Captain Baseball Bat Boys, my friend. Oh, shh. Oh, my God, I made it. Wow, that took me over forever. Oh, 
No. No, no, please, God, no. Oh, dear God. Dead, oh my God. Great, another long hallway to meet my wife. Slice them, dice them, shoot them full of holes, blow them to bits, vaporize them, disintegrate them. No matter what you do, they'll still be back good as new. Michelle's diary lay on the table. Michelle was working part-time in the district attorney's office. Her diary was open on today's entry. Her handwriting all pretty curves. An army dossier found its way to my desk yesterday. Val... Valhalla? Isn't that a Norse myth? Something about Vikings? I tried to tell Max about it, but he was busy. That cute frown on his brow. Guess it's nothing. Just a mix-up at the courier service. From now on, Could be. I would always find time for her. It was a hollow promise. Too little, too late. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. All right. Max, no, please, Max. Why? I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Okay. Murderer! You killed her! Nothing like that ever happens in the real world. Hmm. Alright, chapter one, the baseball bat. Shit. I woke up in a bad dream. My head felt two sizes too small for my brain. Max Payne. I envy your name. And the killer was smiling. Pleased to meet you. I'm Frankie to Bat Niagara. Niagara, as in you cry a lot? He had a baseball bat <laughs> and I was tied to a chair. Pissing him off was the smart thing to do. Of course. Nothing wrong with a little laugh now and then. Take me, for example. I love to watch cartoons. Cartoon violence is a fascinating thing. All right. Let's take a break. I need to take a leak and maybe grab a cold one at the bar. Don't worry. I'll be back to finish this off. And then, it's checkout time. You play, you pay, you bastard. He swaggered out, and the door clanged shut behind him, locks clicking into place. Everyone makes mistakes. Mine hadn't been to crack jokes about the goon with the bat. He'd have cracked my skull regardless. It hadn't even been to trust a girl with a gun. I had blindly gone after the first bad guy on my hit list when I should have been aiming further up the ladder, at the head of the Punchinello family. I couldn't bring myself to be pissed at Mona. Guess I had a soft spot for a pretty face. But when somebody decides to play baseball with your head, you tend to get sore. They had dragged me back to the basement of Lupino's hotel. I was beaten, bruised, and blue. I felt like the chair I had broken to get free. Ah, uh, goddamn! I'm all the way back here. All I had was Niagara's bat, <laughs> sticky with my own blood. Oh, this will be fun. Without a gun, I'd be no match for Frankie's men. I'd have to play hide-and-seek with them.
All right, guys, I think we're, we're leaving it for this part. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. I enjoyed it a lot. So uh, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, follow me everywhere, Me Time Gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and right here, YouTube.com forward slash Me Time Gamer, where I post a new video every day of the week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So thanks so much, guys, for watching, and we'll see you next video. Keep on keeping on.